dating world, I am here to help you. Now, I am very lucky in the sense that I am not single and I will never again be single. I have found someone who I love and is willing to tolerate my presence for longer than five minutes. And to me, that's a huge win because I can barely tolerate myself for five minutes some days. So I'm going to help you guys out in the dating world, guys and girls, I should say, and everyone else, everyone under the umbrella who has a pulse, I am here to help. Now it's gonna get very, very complicated over the next little while because you're not gonna be able to physically meet the person. However, thanks to technology, you know, with Skype and FaceTime and all that other shit, you can still meet somebody, you know, engage in a few conversations and hope that you're interesting enough that it lasts a little while. And then when this quarantine breaks and we can actually see each other again, you can meet. So why not try some very, very helpful and possibly funny pickup lines. Because it doesn't hurt to try to break the ice. I mean, it might, you know, get a laugh. It might create a topic of conversation. But one thing it won't do is end up with a drink in your face. Because, thankfully, I mean, what, what are they going to throw water at? Their fucking phone? You know, their laptop? It'll fizzle out and die. That'll be fucking stupid. So, try these pickup lines if you're single and looking to mingle. And let's see if they work for you, because I'm here to help. Maybe. I don't know. Fuck it. We'll see. Give these a try and let me know if they work or not. All right? So, you're in a chat room. You are you met that potential special someone. Why not say something like, Hey, baby, you come within six feet of here often? No? No, that was kind of stupid, too. How about... That might work, especially if they're one of those fucking doomsday panic shopping nuts. That was that was the stupidest fucking thing I've heard in a long time. The, the first thing that goes is toilet paper. Um, I don't know. Maybe they have a high Chipotle diet or some shit. Who knows? FaceTime and chill? Nah. 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 Yeah, I know what Netflix and chill means. I know where that came from and all this, you know, all the different memes and sex stuff about that. But that just sounds like someone creepily masturbating into a webcam while someone else watches, which some people might be into. And hell, if you're special, someone is, someone is into that, fucking do it. But get permission first. Don't just yank it free willy nilly and expect them to like it because that is a crime and you will go to jail. Probably. I don't know, but it's creepy and don't fucking do it, okay? Try this one. You smell so good. Is that Purell you're wearing? No, no, that was fucking stupid too. Plus, I mean, you wouldn't be attracted to someone wearing Purell. No, 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 I, I don't have any nose hairs anymore because that's all I smell all day is fucking Purell and antibacterial shit. <sighs> I have a job, thank God. I mean, I'm lucky to be working where I do work in a group home, but whew, those cleaner smells, huh? Well, won't have to be trimming my nostril hair anytime soon. Thank fucking God. Why do I grow so much nose hair and yet I have like a hobo beard going on? I don't fucking get it. It's, it, it's so unfair. Back to topic. Okay. Are you a pandemic? Because you've got my heart on lockdown. <laughs> that might actually break the ice. I mean, you never know. Hello? I said hello. I'm not sure if I can scream any louder. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I guess that's for the people who are, you know, having a date, like, from dueling apartments, like one balcony over here and the other balcony over here, there's like a hundred feet, you know, and that, you know, that could work there, but probably not through a web chat. Cause that would be kind of stupid. So would you touch me with a 10 foot pole? <laughs> uh, my mind went in about 15 different directions there. All of them involving a penis. Not in any weird, well, 
I guess they're all kind of weird ways, but not in any really weird ways. But, you know, I mean, pull, touching, penis, you know, it's, it's, it, it goes hand in hand, you know, like, like chocolate and ice cream, you know. That mask brings out the beauty in your eyes. Meh. Is that hand sanitizer in your pocket? Or are you just happy to be within six feet of me? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. If those... Am I going bald? Oh, no, it's just me. Okay, good. Let me just say this. If those little handheld travel Purell things that are like this big, if she's thinking that's your dick... I mean... I'm not, you know, long schlong silver over here. I mean, I'm not breaking any world records, but if it's, this is white out. It's about the same size as one of those carry in your pocket Purells. Yeah, need I say more? You fancy going out? I'll go Tuesday and you go Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not funny, it's just very true and, and very un unfortunate. I miss people, I really do. I'm not about to run out and start shaking people's hands or whatever, but... Uh, baby, do you need toilet paper? Because I can be your Prince Charmin. That's kind of stupid. That's very stupid. If I had a dollar for every time I thought about you, I'd be in the highest tax bracket and then be able to get tested for coronavirus. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. It's also very sad. Oh, God, the world we live in, huh? If I had a dollar for every time that I thought about you, I'd be in the highest tax bracket. It sucks that that's kind of true, am I right? And just, but you kind of have to laugh. Okay. Last two. Here we go. I saw you from across the bar. Stay there. <laughs> that could work in a... Well, it's kind of funny, but it could also work if you're in a bar and some real fugly-looking motherfucker is approaching you. But we might not be able to use this line in a bar for a little while. So last one. I wash my hands when there's no pandemic, too. You get it? Because, like, I wash my hands even when there's no pandemic. So you're always clean. The germs are off your hand. I explained that way too much. Even, like, three seconds I explained, and that was way too much. That was really, really stupid. And this will be the last one. That one was just stupid. I can't end on that. You can't spell quarantine without you are a Q T. Eh, or you are a Q T. Whatever the fuck. You get it. I don't have to fucking explain it to you people. Whatever. So that's enough for now. So hope you're having a happy Easter or happy Easter long weekend. Although, to be honest, for a lot of you people, you've been having an extended long weekend for like a month now. So stay safe, stay classy. Don't trust anyone over 40, and I, the line is don't trust anyone over 30, but I'm 34, so that's whatever. whatever. I'm explaining too much. Fuck, I shouldn't have drank that much last night.